Paul Martin was a leader of the Exodus ministry in his early 20s, but saw the light when he realised none of their behaviour modification tools or prayer therapy sessions were converting homosexual people. Over the last 25 years, I've seen dozens of men and women who have been through these programs, and they are perhaps some of the most damaged people I've ever worked with. And so my role at this stage is to educate the public about the damage these programs can do, but also help to repair some of the damage that have been inflicted on many of the survivors of these ex-gay programs. Adam Hood, a professed homosexual who has been converted to becoming straight, was banned from delivering his message at Caboolture earlier this year. Like, I was so happy! He delivered me! You know, I love women! And I love my wife's body. I love her physically and it's holy. And God is good and he created sex and he wants us to enjoy it in the proper context. And guess what? He can do it. Even for those who've struggled with homosexuality their whole life, he can set them straight. But Mr. Martin says gay people should not listen to community leaders who say you can change your sexual orientation. It's something that is a very natural part of being human. It's part of the rich diversity of humanity. It's the same as your, you have white skin and you want your skin to be black. It doesn't work. Um, and when you come to a place of self-acceptance, that's when you actually feel much better about yourself.